everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lara and today we are doing a pick an object reading and we will be looking into your life, the past, the present, and the future. So once you've breathed deeply, allowed yourself to relax, and asked spirit, asked the universe, what do I need to know about my life path, my life's journey at this time? select whichever one of these objects you feel most drawn to. We have group number one with the luggage, group number two with the backpack, and group number three with the map. Take a moment to select whichever one you're feeling intuitively drawn to, and then you can either watch through or skip ahead using the timestamps. I also want to take this time to remind you all that I do offer personal readings on my website, spiritpsychic.org. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Welcome. Glad to have you here. Let's dive into your reading now. Number one, welcome. We are going to do the past, present, and future of your life. So I have already pulled cards for the past and present. So let's dive right into it. Looking into your past, we have the seven of cups. And this says illusionary success. So there's a lot of daydreaming going on, lots of Pisces energy in your past. This is things like daydreaming, being in your head, um, escapism in some way, shapes, or form. So when I say escapism, that could be with anything such as codependent relationships, drug use, uh, kind of just uh, poor coping mechanisms, but specifically using your mind and feel good energies and hormones to escape your reality so that's why i say things like codependent relationships you know using that love hormone to kind of escape your reality for a moment or drugs or daydreaming things like that maybe even like video game addictions um there's this sense of illusionary success you know falsely triggering this state of dopamine and happiness. We have the five of wands in reverse strife. This card comes out a lot when there are people around us who don't see eye to eye, okay? Maybe some of you didn't really get along well with your family or friends, or you've just had a lot of conflict in your past, it seems. You know, five of wands is a very frustrating um passionate type of energy we have the ace of cups in reversed as well yeah guys things really didn't seem that easy for you in the past we see a blockage here in love you know like love that you're supposed to get not really being there or it's just not healthy i'm seeing kind of like arguing raising of voices um anger that was not appropriately handled and that might have been directed towards you so whether this is family an ex friends it seems like there was a person or some people in your life who would have a hot temper raise their voice get you know kind of let their anger get the best of them in some way and that might have affected you more than you realized it wasn't really giving me safe healthy love but at the time you didn't feel it's like you weren't aware enough of how unhealthy the situation was which is why you resorted to subconsciously going after these um these false successes you know codependent relationships, drugs, um, daydreaming, whatever the case may be, it's like there's this false reality you would be guided towards because at the time you weren't consciously aware of how unhealthy your current situation was. And in, in within you, you know, you crave that healthy love and um, emotions and connections with the Ace of Cups in reversed. So you didn't have the words or the wisdom at the time to find healthy coping mechanisms or maybe you couldn't even break out of that situation just yet you know maybe you were kind of stuck there for whatever reason and so that led you to kind of um, these behaviors that may not be the healthiest but they helped get you through at the time so we have the king of wands coming up overcoming challenges uh, this is a lot of creativity and warmth and passion for life okay i'm seeing lots of actually friends and a zest for life really whenever the king of wands comes out this is you know you feeling 
always kind of feeling this internal sense of, I, I want to say confidence, but obviously you weren't confident every single day of your life in the past, but almost like brave. That's the word I want to use, brave. Like open-mindedness, not as fearful as the people around you. And also, I, I keep going back to like creativity, intelligence, um, I feel like you were always kind of the leader, even if at times you were in groups where there was like a false leader, you were the one behind the scenes kind of making a lot of decisions or giving a lot of ideas, you know, I don't know. It's hard to describe. There's a sense of leadership um, within you, like intelligence. You have a little something that other people don't have. Uh, and this has been your entire life that you've had this. We're also seeing a really good influence in your past as well. This could be an actual person. Um, this could be an older masculine male role model or figure in your life. Now, who exactly this is will look different for all of you. This could be a father, grandfather, uncle. This could even be a teacher or maybe even, I don't know, just someone in your life who kind of triggered a lot of goodness within you, specifically in the creative fields. I don't know why I keep saying creative fields. So maybe you had someone in your life who kind of was like an art teacher or like music director or uh, even like a relative who inspired you to keep going creatively. Interesting. Okay. We have the Six of Cups upright. Again, a really beautiful, and this card says pleasure, beautiful card that actually does show some happiness in your past. It wasn't all difficult. It wasn't all hard. I'm particularly seeing happiness when it came to friendships. Like maybe you were the type of person in the past where your friends or, I mean, I guess for some of you, this could be family. Like you had a safe haven of certain people who really helped get you by. I see this card Almost, I'm viewing it almost as like maybe these people aren't as close with you anymore or they're not in your life anymore, but at the time they were, they had a lot of positive stuff to offer you, a lot of positive energy, a sense of support. Like This is the type of people who you would go out and do things in your everyday waking life and not feel alone all the time or not feel as anxious. When we're around people we feel comfortable with, we have a tendency to feel less anxious in new situations, right? Like if I was going out to do something I've never done before, like say you've never been into a gym your entire life and it's overwhelming thinking of like, you know, what if people are staring at me? What, how do you use all the equipment? If you go with a friend, it's a lot, lot less intimidating, right? So we are seeing influences in your past where you were able to go out of your comfort zone quite a bit because of the people in your life and you were able to gain experiences quite a bit because it's not like you were all on your own your whole life. So we do have to show some acknowledgement and gratitude towards these past influences here, towards the people that really inspired us and kind of inspired us to keep going creatively, um, as well as also like this could be a masculine figure in your life who they themselves kind of created their own path in life and that inspired you to do the same like you had a role model an example of that um and we have to offer gratitude towards the family or friends who allowed us to go out of our comfort zone more than if we were kind of on our own completely we have the 10 of wands in reverse though for your past oppression yeah guys five of wands reversed 10 of wands reversed your past wasn't easy. Okay, let's just put it like that. Like, we have great people, sure, great folks in your life, but there was definitely, I'm feeling a heavy energy on you. Maybe you were really depressed as a kid or a teenager or even in your early adulthood, depending on how old you are. And the weight of responsibility was weighing you down. And I'm seeing this as the end card of your past. So this could even be like, not necessarily your young childhood years, but maybe your late teens, early adulthood, or past as in like recent past, we're seeing oppression, like having a lot of weight on your shoulder, shoulders, a lot of responsibility. 
you know, carrying everything yourself. The Ten of Wands in reversed is a card of I can't be in a healing space in my life right now because I have too much going on. When I am done with this, when I'm done with this responsibility, then I will blank, you know? When I get a new job, then I will go to therapy and take better care of myself. When I graduate school, then I will, you know, focus on myself and happiness and love. It's like the Ten of Wands reversed is, I know I have to do this for my well-being, but I can't until I am done this heavy oppressive responsibility that i took on and that can be a little traumatizing you know um for an, an example folks in the academic world who take on a really lengthy and difficult program um you know it can be easy to say okay well when i'm done here then i'll take better care of myself then i'll focus on love then i'll focus on friendship but your life while you're doing it is very out of whack that's just not healthy so we're seeing something like that in your past. Let's see where you are at presently though, and then we can look into your future. So in the present moment, we have strength coming out. Lots of Leo energy all in this reading, if I do say so. Okay, so Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus might be one of your signs. Strength is a good card to have in the present moment though, because this is showing you're not afraid to overcome challenges. You're not afraid to have difficult conversations and... Also, strength is just a good luck card when it's upright, you know? It's a card of confidence. It's a card of wearing your heart on your sleeve and not being afraid to be yourself. So it goes back to this King of Wands energy of, I can navigate my own life. I could be my own person and I am not conforming to any preset way of being. Like, this is me. This is who I am. And I am not afraid to show that. So you have a really deep sense of confidence, group number one. Compared to the average person, you're pretty confident. I love to see it. We have the three of pentacles working on something and gaining appreciation for what you have to offer to the world. So you've been working really hard trying to prove yourself to, to whoever, like prove yourself to all of the people who said you weren't going to make it. And I do feel like you had people like that in your life with the past card being five of wands. Like this is an energy of people saying you can't possibly be successful doing blank. Like say you always wanted to go to school, the art school, you know, you can't possibly make it as an artist. You know, you're going to be working at McDonald's, starving artist, you know, the stereotype. And it's like, I'm going to prove them wrong. I'm not going to listen to what they're saying. I'm not conforming to what other people are saying. I'm doing what I want and I will prove them all wrong. So right now in the present moment, we are starting to see you prove these people wrong. You're, what you're doing is gaining traction and attention. All of the hard work you've been doing in the past is starting now to pay off in the present. We have the page of swords in reverse. I think one problem you still have presently is overthinking. <laughs> okay, so that might be something to look out for. You, your mind can get in the way of your own happiness and your own forward momentum sometimes. So that's just something to pay attention to. And I feel like the reason why you overthink is actually because of how intellectually stimulated you are constantly watching videos, reading, um, figuring out different ways to improve your life, talking to people. You just have so many influences all at once. And, you know, it's not natural, okay? You can, I'm, I get it. I understand. I love reading. I love watching videos. I love gaining different perspectives and constantly, like, doing something intellectual. But, I mean, you need to give your intellectual bones a rest sometimes. <laughs> if we look back to how things were, like, hundreds of years ago, they didn't have the radio. They didn't have the internet. They barely even had, like a ton of books you know it, it was a whole process to even just print a book so things were a lot calmer intellectually back in the day and it was like that for thousands and thousands and thousands of years so nowadays when we have all this information just like that at our fingertips and we can just look up everything that pops into our head it's a great great benefit and blessing that we have by living in this age however it can definitely cause overthinking and i think as a society we kind of struggle with overthinking and that's why depression and anxiety is so 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 high and so we do see here you struggling with that so it's just important for you to silence your mind and you know relaxing intellectually 
really does mean like not thinking, like not watching TV, not reading anything, not listening to anything, not watching anything, just meditating or being very present. However that looks for you. Whenever I'm feeling mentally stimulated, like overstimulated, I do a physical task, like I'll clean and I'll make sure that I don't put on podcasts or anything when I'm cleaning. If I'm in this space of intellectual overstimulation, overthinking, um, heaviness, you know, I just clean, no music, no nothing, just me and my thoughts alone. It's really important that you step into that space every day. We have the two of swords. Yeah, again, overthinking. It is clouding your judgment in the present moment. We have the page of pentacles reversed. Some of you guys are waiting, waiting for a higher level of commitment from the people around you, waiting for more money to come in, waiting for more success to come in. It goes back to the three of pentacles here, you know? This is you finally gaining traction and attention. I see your value. Let's take this further. You know, I can view this as three people working together, you know, teamwork, working with the people around you, working with what you have, working with your skills to build a life for yourself. But it also is a card of appreciation. You know, we have a team here building this beautiful tapestry and we have another third person here admiring the work, right? And it looks like he's kind of showing it off. So to me, this is like, wow, people are now noticing everything that you have to offer, whether, you know, that's romantic partners, if you're single and that's what you're looking for, um, customers, if you have your own business, whatever, like people are starting to notice like, wow, look at the progress you're making in life. You're really starting to be someone to do something here. It's, it's, it's great. And we have the chariot reverse. There is a sense of stagnancy in the present moment for some reason. Group number one, why is that? Why are we feeling like it's almost like this sense of, I don't want to say wanderlust, but it's like, I should be further along than where I'm at now. And I feel like part of the reason why you're feeling that way is because of how intellectually overstimulated you are. Like if you're constantly, for example, on Instagram, on the internet, looking at all these people, sharing, you know, them achieving their life's dream, accomplishing everything, you know, that is making you more anxious. Like I should be further, I should be doing more. And also it is taking you away from the present moment where you actually could be taking action and doing things. So it's just, I would definitely recommend group number one to cool it intellectually a bit, you know, get more into your physical body and space. So for example, let's just say you have a business and you sell pottery, right? You are so focused on like looking at other people's businesses. How are they marketing online? And you're reading about it. You know, what different pot types of pottery can I do? And, and you're just very intellectually stimulated and into it, trying out different ways in which you can like market yourself. And But you're comparing yourself to other businesses, other people, and you're getting really in your head about your progress. Like I should be further along. I should have more customers. I should be blah, 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 blah. And it's like, what if we just cut out all these different influences coming in from different directions and just got back to basics and it, it was just you and the clay and a spiritual bond between that you know let the physical magic speak for itself get out of your head and into your body into the present moment now some of you guys might have a lifestyle that is very intellectually based like maybe you're going to school maybe you work a job that uses your mind rather than your hands that is fine and dandy but when you're doing your job that's one thing when you're done it is time for you to relax. It is time for you to get physical, okay? So for example, doing readings is extremely mentally taxing. And if I decided, okay, after this reading, I'm gonna go read a book and learn a language, which I try to do like every day. So I'm totally being a hypocrite here. But if I, if I tried doing all of this mentally taxing things after this, like I would be completely drained mentally. And when I'm drained mentally, I'll start overthinking and getting all in my head and it's just not good. So what I would do instead is maybe clean, go for a walk, 
you know, play with my cats, do something physical. And I like to balance those two things out. And you're being asked to do the same thing here. You know, you're wanting to see more results in your physical life, whether that is more money, um, more commitment from the people around you, more objects. I don't know. You're looking to see more developments physically, more travel, but you're so in your mind. Does that make sense? Like you're so in your spiritual, mental, emotional energies up near your head that your physical energies are being a bit neglected. And so think of like the chakra system as like gates, right? And they open and close a certain amount to let energy and blessings flow into your life. If all your upper chakras and thinking and emotions and all that are open and all your lower ones, which is your physical life are closed, you're not really going to see physical blessings as much. Does that make sense? So it's time to get out of your head and into the, the physical moment. And I think that will help solve a lot of your issues. But let's see what is in store for your future here. I also see a sense of not knowing where the future is going for you in the present moment, which is making you really anxious. And maybe that's what helped draw you to this reading. You're like, yeah, I really need to know that. I really need to know those answers because I'm trying to remain strong. I'm trying to like grow. I'm trying to build, but I mean, maybe things are a bit stagnant for you right now. And you're like, when and how is this happening? The two of swords is a card of not moving forward and being really in your head. Page of Swords reversed. You keep trying to solve this problem with more <laughs> intellectual stimulation, more ideas. You know, maybe I can change something. Like, and in reality, you just need to get back into the body. Okay, so what is in store for your future? We're gonna pick six cards, just like the other ones. This is from the after tarot. You have the six of pentacles in reverse. So I feel like the universe wants to bring you in more reciprocation. You know, if you are someone who has a lot of responsibilities and works a lot, you know, they're wanting to bring you more money. If you're someone who pours so much energy into your relationships, the universe is wanting to bring you someone who pours that energy back. But there does seem to be a blockage at the present moment. Um, when it comes to that. So honestly, what I'm seeing here is that you are pouring too much energy into things and not giving time for them to pour back into you. And I have the strangest example coming into my head. So I grew up on like a, in a twin house. So our house was connected to another's and we kind of like shared a front lawn with our neighbor and our neighbor could never mow the lawn because my dad would be on it like that. Like the second the grass grew like a millimeter, he would be out there cutting it. And it's like, you know, if my dad were to complain about that neighbor and say, they never cut the lawn. It's like, well, you're never giving them time to cut the lawn. You know what I mean? It's like you just jump right to it the second you you see that it could possibly. And it's like you're not allowing time and space for blessings and love to come to you. You're just like very on it. And the reason why you're so quick about these things is because of how much in your head you are. Like you notice problems the second they arise. You notice opportunities the second they arise. And it's like, just allow other people to come to you. Allow blessings to happen. Allow the universe to bring you help and blessings and all that. You know what I mean? Like, you're, you're trying to do too much. Like, do what you need to do to manifest the life you want. And then just let nature run its course. You know what I mean? Like, if let me give another example. If you have this goal of like being really fit and strong and you start going to the gym and like a week after you start exercising, you're like, why don't I look like a bodybuilder yet? And you're just like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. You know, I'm going to do this extreme workout, this extreme diet. I'm going to take all these supplements and, and you take it way too extreme. You're, you're ho holding on to control way too much. And it's like, if you would have just kept doing what you're doing over time, naturally, you would have achieved the result. But instead, you're gripping on too tightly to the thing which you are trying to manifest. And you are not just kind of letting it flow to you, that manifestation is like, 
this is especially the case if you ever feel like you have to do everything all the time. Like you constantly have to like manifest every customer you have if you have your own business or you constantly have to do everything in a relationship. It's like give time and space for it to come to you and learn how to relax in the process. We have the five of swords. So in the future, we do see kind of breaking away from certain individuals, ideas, thought forms. I don't know why I'm viewing this more as like thoughts and how you think, breaking away from that type of thinking. I see you breaking away from that type of thinking that like you have to do everything. I see you breaking away from the type of thinking that like, and it's weird because I feel like it's weirdly tied in with your ego as well. Like I have to do everything in this household. Um, and relationship, you know, I have to suggest every date, I have to do all of the cleaning and organizing, write every single list, and it's like, it's weirdly tied to your ego because in a sense, you're kind of viewing the people around you as un incapable of doing those things, so if you just relinquished some of that control, delegated, and honestly, the act of delegating itself is work, but you just like let someone else take care of things and come to you. Like it, it's just something that you struggle with right now. I'm seeing not only with other people around you, but with the universe at large, like, and that's the thing, like when you carry that energy in your immediate relationships, that is also the energy you carry to the universe. And via the law of attraction, the universe is only reflecting back to you the energy that you're carrying. So when you're carrying the energy of I have to do absolutely everything for anything to get done, then none of your manifestations will come in unless you work really du super duper hard for it. So I see you kind of letting go of that belief that you have to do everything <sighs> and learning to trust the magic of life a bit more and other people. We have the Empress reversed. Yeah, this pretty much summarizes that whole theme, that whole message. The Empress, you know, she attracts what she wants without even having to lift a finger. <laughs> so this is kind of what you are stepping into. And, you know, the Empress represents pregnancy for that reason. Like, say you're trying to conceive a baby. You can't rush the process and do more to make it come out faster. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to take nine months. You're going to have to just wait and let nature do its thing. And I see that being a lesson for you, but with everything in life, you know? letting things come in divine timing and natural timing. And in the meantime, sure, doing everything that you can in the present moment to prime your life for beautiful blessings to come forward, you know, like to have healthy habits and to do your part in taking action towards your dreams, but kind of relinquishing the hard grip you have on the type of life that you want. We have the king of pentacles. See what's coming in for you when you learn this lesson? Money, a beautiful home, stability, and commitment. That's all of the things that the king of pentacles represents. Long-term security and success. The king of pentacles often comes out in readings to show someone who is very well off and has good health, you know, they take good care of themselves, they have a nice home base and secure relationships in their life, and they like spoiling those people that they love with their blessings, with their monetary blessings, you know, they like inviting people over to have a really good meal, they like buying gifts for people, they like hosting, they like the physical attention, like, this is what you're stepping into when you learn this lesson. So you're saying, you know what? I'm going to let other people come to me. I'm going to relinquish my my tight grip on this manifestation and then it'll come to you. So I feel like that's a blockage you might be dealing with in the present moment is like, like letting go a bit and allowing life to happen for you. You know, if life is a game of basketball the ball is in the universe's court right now so you just relax have fun enjoy your body and the physical moment and allow things to come to you we have the four of swords reversed yeah all of these cards are clarifying pretty much the same message this is a card 
when in reverse it's saying sit down and shut up group number one like relax get some sleep get into that physical body more do less group number one do less <laughs> Nine of Pentacles, more money, success. This is especially good for anyone who has a business, okay? Um, because this is really a card of turning your passions into profits and like allowing yourself to spoil yourself with your riches. And it's interesting that we start up here in the present moment with the Three of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles reverse. Something is just now in the present moment starting to gain traction, get off the ground. And you might even feel a little bit blocked. Like, you know, I want more commitment. I want more money. I want more like movement in life. And in your future, we see that happening. You know, the swords here represent movement. And look at all these pentacle cards, money, 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 essentially, um, when you learn this lesson. So uh, nine of pentacles is such a happy card as well, because this is a card of like having your own self-esteem, well-being, like meeting all of your own needs by yourself, which is so healthy. And then being able to share in your blessings with other people and truly love others in a very healthy way because you don't need them. You want them in your life. Does that make sense? So I literally finished your reading and then realized that like the last two minutes didn't even record. But what I was saying was this completely transforms your relationships to be much healthier. And so... Uh, moral of the story is, guys, I hope that this reading gave you some insights into what you need to know to manifest this happy future with, I mean, like good money flowing in, life flowing again. I think that was your problem, especially with the chariot reversed. It feels right now in the present moment, you know, things might not be flowing as quickly, as nicely as you want, you know, wanting some more recognition, wanting some more kind of like commitment and you want the people around you to and, and your reality around you to kind of show you more appreciation, if that makes sense. Have the universe show you more appreciation for all the hard work that you do. And we see that happening. So it's really lovely. And, you know, that really happens when you kind of create space for it to happen. When you let go of the belief that you need to constantly be doing everything to manifest any outcome, whatever it is. Give space for life to happen to you. Give space for other people to come to you and what you need to do is just focus on you in the present moment you know what is my energy right now how can I improve it how can I be happy in the present moment right now what are my daily routines are they healthy are they happy and are they reaching my long-term success if the answer is yes to all of those then all you have to do is sit back relax and enjoy life anything after that just play you know don't keep holding on to this tight control like trying to do even more and more and more to manifest an outcome at that point divine timing is at work and all you have to do is wait for the universe to take action okay so thank you guys for joining me like share comment and subscribe i would love to hear how this resonated with you down below and if you are new to the channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified every time that I post. I post regular pick a card readings as well as other spiritual chit chats here. So I will see you for the next video. Bye bye. Hello, group number two and welcome. Let's see what is in your past, present and future in life. So I already went ahead and shuffled the cards and selected your past and present cards to see what's in store. So let's see. We have the seven of wands in reversed valor. Okay, so in your past, there's definitely a lot of feeling like you had to defend yourself or stick up for yourself, okay? That might have been one of the lessons you had to do in the past. So maybe you attracted some situations or people where you really, I don't want to say you were a pushover, but... You definitely had the lesson of standing up for yourself more, learning self-love, not letting people walk all over you or use you or anything like that. Like you really learned how to have appropriate and healthy boundaries in the past. Next we have the five of pentacles. Okay, so either health or money was an issue for you in the past. Okay, so whenever we see the five of pentacles, it shows material trouble. So essentially what that means is illness or poverty or health issues. 
something of that sort. And like we said, there's a lot of learning how to stand up for yourself, self-love, um, take care of yourself. These themes are coming up here. Maybe when you were a child, you might have been bullied for your weight or bullied for not having nice clothes or something of that nature. We are seeing that you've had to overcome um, some sense of loss or lack in the material sense next we have the nine of pentacles in reverse as well material gain so isn't that funny we have material trouble and then material gain but this is in reverse so there is I'm, I'm kind of seeing a troubled relationship with money coming through for you guys um not having much growing up or in early adulthood and really having to fight for survival essentially with the nine of pentacles in reversed, this could also talk about not having enough to really indulge in the things that you wanted to do. So maybe some of you guys, for example, really wanted to go to college, but you didn't have enough money to do that. Or maybe you really wanted to start your own business, but there was some startup costs that you couldn't afford and you couldn't take a loan out. So I'm seeing something like that, a story like that coming through for you. Nine of Pentacles in reversed also talks about self-love as well though and you know really being comfortable in who you are, comfortable in your own skin. And it's interesting because oftentimes like spiritually we see that financial value, material value often aligns with your sense of personal value. So if you have a hard time seeing the value within yourself and your present day life, you will have a hard time manifesting money and value outside of yourself. They're internally linked, right? So you have to really value yourself and your skill set and what you have to offer in the world in order to attract more money. And in a very practical example of this, is say you're applying for a new job and you're writing up your resume. If you don't see the value in the experiences that have led you up to that point, you're not really going to write a good resume. Like I see this all the time. People who want a better job, but they haven't been to college. They haven't, you know, done the traditional path. And they're like, I don't know what to put on my resume. I don't know how I'm going to get a better job. And it's like the skills you already have in life from your experiences are marketable. Even if you have never had a job, you've been like a stay-at-home parent and you just kind of ran your own side business, I can think of like a hundred skills right off the bat that I would want to hire you for, you know? M multitasking, managing a household, um, if you have your own little business, you know, that alone has like every single skill that a business needs, right? You learned marketing, you learned customer interactions, things like that, like your skills are valuable. So that's a, a pretty prime example of how your sense of internal value and seeing the value within yourself can directly correlate with your external value and the money that you make. If you sit here and say, I have no skills, I can't make any, I can't get a better job, then yeah, you're not going to get a better job because you're not seeing the value within yourself. So how is any job going to see it as well? You're not able to market that to those new jobs. Okay. So next we have the sun. So the past wasn't all negative and we definitely see that here. There's a lot of fun times. Um, I'm seeing some nature things coming up here. Maybe you didn't have much physically, but you found a lot of solace in nature at the beach, in the woods, um, at the lake, whatever. Um, we see a lot of happy memories outside or just even gardening. Um, I'm also seeing children. I, I bet a lot of you watching have a child or children it seems and obviously not all of you but that is somehow coming into play maybe you helped raise someone else's kid as well i don't know why that's coming up um i'm also seeing pets nature things like that these innocent souls so like babies and children nature plants pets they're all kind of coming through in a past position um creating a lot of happiness for you so yeah we have the Hierophant. Okay, this is a deeply, deeply spiritual card. So in your past, there was some type of teacher, spiritual teacher. Um, this is kind of like a spirit guide that is incarnated. Okay, so this could be a therapist. This could be a life coach. This could be an actual mentor teacher. It could be even like an inspirational speaker that you found and you follow their work someone came into your life 
and really changed your perspective on things. Okay, when you find a really good role model, a really good teacher, they can totally transform your life. Like I'm having visions of different people coming into my mind to show this example, like Eckhart Tolle and um, like the Buddha, if you follow Buddhism, the various spiritual teachers, sad guru, I don't know. There, there's just someone in your past who really set you onto this, I guess you could say, spiritual path of awakening and remembering your power to create your own reality and be in control of your emotions and your mind. Also, I'm seeing romantic love here with the white dove, the two people. The Hierophant can show up as a card of marriage, but obviously I'm not seeing this as marriage specifically. I'm seeing this more so as a relationship that really changed your reality, like literally changed your reality. Maybe you moved in, you moved with this person. Maybe they awakened something deep within you. Maybe you had a kid with them. You know what I mean? Like there's a very significant romantic relationship in your past I'm seeing here, as well as like a spiritual awakening that ties into certain teachers that the universe has sent you. And then we have the six of cups in reversed. And so what I'm seeing in this card is that your friends and peers in the past maybe weren't the best for you. Okay. And with this card in reversed, I feel like you already let them go. Um, a part of your spiritual journey and awakening is kind of, again, remembering your value, remembering your worth. And a part of that was being able to say to certain people around you, like, I don't think you're treating me well, so I'm going to let this relationship go. Or even if you didn't completely cut it off, you backed away from certain individuals in your life that were taking more than they were giving. And that's where the seven of wands comes in, like learning how to defend yourself um, and not surrounding yourself with people who you need to defend yourself around. You know what I mean? So we are seeing some of that, like backing away from certain influences that weren't really good friends for you. We are seeing happy memories, especially with like nature. And um, the, the honestly, the sun is so hard to predict one thing because it's just general happiness. We do see a lot of happiness in your past, but also a huge spiritual awakening. There is some karmic lessons here involving money and value so that's your past let's see where you're at in the present moment and then we will dive into your future so in the present moment you have the ten of swords okay guys i'm gonna be straight up honest with you this is a card of stress <laughs> this is a card of endings um just like stressful endings okay people walking away from you i don't know why someone here someone watching here this obviously isn't gonna be the message for everyone um just had your kids move out and now you're kind of feeling a little lost like an empty nester you know what i mean i, I don't know why that's a message coming through or there's like a transition here um someone else is retiring and you're kind of excited but also apprehensive about that uh i'm seeing Mm, someone obviously walking away from f a friend group or backing away from family that is toxic. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a transition that has already been going on in your life. And right now with the Ten of Swords, you know, it, it there is kind of like a mourning period, if that makes sense, uh, of mourning the this lost chapter in life. But also you see how light and free she is and she's barefoot and the wind's blowing on her. She's walking towards the sun. There is this sense of excitement for this new chapter in your life, even though it's, it's kind of bittersweet, I would say. Whatever this is, it's bittersweet. Like, you know, I'm glad I had all those good memories. Um, you know, some things, it's just time to go and you're kind of mourning that. But, you know, you're also somewhat... I don't want to say excited, but more so just at peace with this transition in your life and looking forward to what the next chapter brings. So next we have the King of Cups in reversed. All right. Um, this is an interesting one. I Court cards like this come out to represent people in your life that you should be aware about. And here we have a masculine person. It doesn't have to be man or woman, just masculine energy person who would be a king of cups. So they would be someone who is empathetic, compassionate, um, sensitive, in touch with their emotions. But with this card in reverse, there is a sense of immaturity about it. So this might be someone who is emotionally kind of manipulative, like, you know, 
trying to use weaponize their emotions or weaponize empathy king of cups reverse this can be someone who is a little bit too much okay like codependent can't really be on their own constantly bothering you I, I know, I know, it's the energy that's coming through. Also, in this card, never really stands out to me, but it's standing out now is this starfish. And the spirit of a starfish is someone who is very charismatic, but kind of superficial at the same time. So, I don't know, I'm seeing someone like that in your life. Who is this person? Can you comment down below? Because I'm, I'm very intrigued. Maybe this is the person that you're trying to walk away from or are walking away from. Um, some I'm, I got a message. Some of you guys, you actually just went through a divorce. That's what this ending is. This King of Cups reversed is that person, you know, weaponizing their, their emotions, you know, woe is me, um, doing things that are just inappropriate, you know, making it seem like they're super depressed, they're a victim, and kind of using that to get attention in a way, really toxic stuff, you know, like something really bad's going to happen because I'm in a bad emotional state. And then they weaponize that to um, get sympathy, attention, etc. It's just really toxic. And that is a part of your lesson here of like standing up for yourself, you know. There's too many nice people in the world. I really do feel that, especially divine feminine people. We're taught like to constantly be nurturing and, and this and that. But you know what? If someone is weaponizing their emotions and kind of using you for that like no straight up ha be comfortable in other people being uncomfortable like just because you're sad or upset does not give you the right to my time my energy my anything and i don't know king of cups reversed just a nasty energy i don't like people like that straight up page of wands reversed okay well <laughs> the story continues i'm seeing a big message here of walking away from a group of people like not just one person but multiple people page of wands reverse this is again like someone immature okay um could be younger than you or at least they act like they're a lot younger than you and i don't know peyton <sighs> <laughs> pages can represent new beginnings and messages from spirit and the page of wands tends to come up to represent a new beginning that you're feeling really passionate about you know this is something that it, it's almost like creative passion it is something new and exciting but in reverse you know, if this is representing a person, it can represent someone who literally does not have an attention span. Like they just follow what they're passionate, that passion burns out, and then they go to on go on to the next thing. And they're not really in control of <laughs> I don't even know how to put it. It's almost like a child. They have a hard time controlling their again, emotions, but a hard time controlling their spontaneous ideas. Like they make rash decisions a lot. So that might be a child in your life for some of you, um, just making rash decisions, not really thinking things through before they do them. And it's just a little bit frustrating. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, moving on. We have the nine of wands. Keeping a bit of a wall up, understandably guys. <laughs> <laughs> understandably with what i'm seeing that you went through i don't blame you for this let me actually see the rest of the cards the hermit yeah you can see that as well and we have the king of wands okay cool so yeah i feel like you guys are at a stage in your life right now where you've dealt with so much of other people's drama and bs that you're just like i'm gonna do me for a little bit okay like give me my gosh darn alone time um yeah, I, I feel like you're almost in this antisocial chapter of your life. I, I don't want to say antisocial, but I do want to say like, just you've put up with so much crap from other people recently that you're kind of just like, yeah, I'm I'm just going to do my own thing for. All right, Mr. Pants. Jeez, that was my cat yelling at the ghosts. I'm just going to do my own thing for a little bit. I am just going to be on my own little spiritual journey here. And I see a lot of spirituality. You know, we have the Hierophant, we have the Hermit. These are both cards of like finding yourself, meditating. Who am I? Why am I here? Tuning into your own little passions and purposes. And I, I see you connecting a lot with teachers, spiritual teachers, you know, reading self-help, inspirational books and um, public speakers and 
motivational, like this is Ted talk energy. You know what I'm saying? Like instead of worrying about other people's drama, like I'm going to stay in, I'm going to work on me, listen to my little Ted talks, you know, do my little exercise and cleaning and crafts. And like, you're just really focusing on you right now after a period of being so focused on other people who were not serving you. And also just being on the struggle bus in general with your fun finances and, and health, it's like, yeah, I'm going to spend a lot of time pouring energy into myself. Understandably, you have some walls up when it comes to new people entering your life. But then we see this king of wands here. And this is someone new. I want. I, it feels new to me. It really does. And maybe they won't be new. But they feel newer to me. You know, this is someone who you actually want in your life. They're very warm and charismatic. They might even have their own business um, or just be a manager, freelancer, boss, whatever. And this is someone who has a lot of energy and passion in life, you know? Sure, they'll sit on the couch and snuggle with you all day, but they're also going to go out with you to... I don't know, whatever you want to do, museums, flea markets, new restaurants, like this is someone whose fire for life is still burning and they enjoy living life to the fullest. They have a lot of experience in life and this is someone who constantly is looking to grow in terms of experience. So they might be well-traveled or want to be well-traveled. They might have known a lot of people um, in their day and or just gotten into a lot of experiences a lot of different careers a lot of ideas that's the energy they're giving me and they're really really good for you but you're going to have to learn how to open up to them and like open your heart back up to love I feel or back up to friends this could even just be a friend right now you're very much like I'm on my own mourning the loss of something but we do see someone really good coming in and so you can take your time growing and building that up but and it's interesting I love how the body language is so similar here like you see how they're both holding a, a wand that's on fire and they both are holding it with the same hand and have their arm down at their side uh, they're both even wearing jeans uh only one is kind of here, open and ready, and then the other person here is like behind a little fence. Like they don't want to kind of go back to old ways or how do I put it like this? They've been doing so much positive work. And when I say they, I mean you. You've been doing so much positive work and focusing on yourself. So there is a bit of a fear here. Like, okay, if I open my heart back up, like I don't want to go back to this. I don't want to go back to struggling and not being appreciated and having to defend myself. I don't want to go back to that. So there is a bit of a fear here, a little bit of a wall around your heart. So... That might be something to work on if you want. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just reading the cards. We definitely do see you on a very deep, introspective journey here. The Hermit card is a major arcana card for the present moment. And it does represent a sense of wanderlust, a sense of finding yourself, and a sense of calling in new experiences, which we see in the King of Wands as well. So it's a perfect match in my opinion. Some of you might be trying to let go of an ex um, and it might be like, and when I say let go, like you might not ever want to be with this person again and that is loud and clear. Like you're happy it's gone, but the damage they did is still kind of there a little bit and you fear that happening again so getting into a new connection might be a bit of a slow burn a beautiful slow dance <laughs> i don't know let's see so what is in store for your future here six cards just like the last two we see so much self-growth healing and stuff going on for you new connections coming in if you want them to also with all these court cards there's just a lot going on generally for you around this time so that's fun to see all righty 
Page of Wands reversed. I don't know why I'm reading that. Someone watching um, is dealing with either a child or a peer who is having a bit of a drug addiction. Obviously not like a child child. I don't know why I said that. Like if you're a lot older, you know, this person might be younger than you. That's what I meant. Um, we have the Eight of Swords in reversed. Freeing yourself. Nice. And we see help here. We see help. Look at this. So it's like feeling stuck, feeling stuck in this five of pentacles, this lack, this feeling of not being appreciated. And here comes along some spiritual helpers freeing you and helping you get out of this kind of toxic environment that you've been in. The, this spiritual helper comes through in so many different forms. They come through as like spiritual teachers, speakers, therapists, um, friends, maybe even someone you date. We see someone coming, people, okay, people and spirit guides coming along to free you from the toxic living situations that you've been in. We have, again, the Six of Cups reversed. Second time in the past and the future. Y'all, you know what I'm going to say here with this? If you're thinking about going back to past friends or exes or you're just keeping them around, like keeping your ex around, you know, maybe as like a friends with benefits or something, don't. Just don't. <laughs> okay, do you want the same thing to happen again in the past? No. So it's time to let go of people who did you dirty in the past or who didn't appreciate you in the past. Stop waiting for them to change. Stop keeping them around. Like, no, just bring in better people. Point blank, period. Next, we have the King of Swords in reverse. So many kings. We have three kings, two in reverse, one upright. I wonder if y'all are dating. <laughs> the Hermit again, this time in reverse. Mm, casual dating? Is that what I'm seeing for some of you? We have the Three of Wands. And we have the Queen of Cups in reversed. Will you let someone in your heart? Group number two. That is to be seen. You know, I'm getting so much interesting energy here. I feel like y'all are just wanting to experience freedom. And wanting to see your own happiness and goals come to fruition. I'm actually seeing like not really caring about having a traditional relationship or doing the traditional thing. It's like, I don't know, I'm getting a sense of just wanting to be free. I don't know why for some of you watching, like wanting to be single is coming through or enjoying being single is coming through. Really interesting. Um, the Hermit in reverse here is kind of showing me that this period of your life of aloneness is not going to last. And I almost feel like in the future, and if not in the present, the universe is kind of sending people into your life <laughs> as like potential, I don't know, friends or whatever. And you might be like shutting it down. <laughs> So that's one thing I would be careful of, you know, don't shut down people too quickly. And King of Swords reversed is an interesting one. Queen of Cups reversed is an interesting one. These are, again, people and situations in your life. King of Swords reversed. This is showing me someone who is kind of cruel, very much in their masculine, not divine masculine, just masculine energy, saying what's on their mind, not really being kind, okay? Do we need this influence in our life? I would say no. A lot of your reading with the Six of Cups in reverse, with all of these court cards coming out in reverse like every single time, is telling me that you should be more picky about the people around you. Like, instead of shutting out everyone, just be more selective. You know, I, I would say... I would recommend avoiding thinking in black and white thinking, you know, like everyone's bad or everyone's good, right? Be more selective about the people you keep in your sphere because in the future, you know, spirit doesn't want you to be alone, <laughs> but at the same time, they don't want you to be with some of the people you've been surrounding yourself with. So mm, I'm seeing transformation 
if you take in this lesson, you know, don't, and this dog here, like, why are you loyal to people who did you dirty in the past? It's time to let that go. Six of Cups reverse coming out again. Let that go. It is not worth it. Like, don't, don't even, you know, it's time to let new souls who are good for you enter your heart, enter your sphere, enter your space. Not the same old person <laughs> or even the same old archetype of person. Queen of Cups Reverse is showing a need for healing, a need to be more, you know, forgive the people from your past. Don't hold on to resentment. But don't go back to them either. Does that make sense? So forgive them, release any ill will you have against them, and then move on. That's kind of the message that I'm getting here, to be completely honest. We also see with the three of wands an ac acquisition, is that the word? You getting your goals met, okay? This is a wish fulfillment coming through and achieving something that you set out to achieve. So think of whatever goal it is that you're primarily focused on right now. We see you achieving that in the near future, which is wonderful, okay? And it all kind of ties into this beautiful inner healing work you've been doing with, you know, surrounding yourself with positive teachers and mentors in this life, positive influences to plant beautiful seeds in your mind that will grow. And also like doing your own internal healing work to, you know, grow them <laughs> essentially. So we see beautiful wish fulfillment coming through from that. Thank you guys for joining me. That is your reading. The future is totally in your hands and changeable. And I feel like this is definitely one of those readings where like the universe wants you to take in this advice and kind of make some shifts, make some changes, and then maybe come back to a similar reading like this to see what your new future path looks like. Does that make sense? So as a psychic reader, I see into so many different future paths for people. There's like an infinite amount of future paths that you can take. And when I do these future readings, I'm tuning into the path that you're currently on. So when an advice heavy reading like this comes up, essentially what it is is your spirit guides trying to redirect you so that you end up with a future that you will enjoy so much more so right now they are definitely saying that you're doing one thing right and that is prioritizing your own inner self-healing and surrounding yourself with good mentors teachers therapists friends whatever but we also see this message here of don't go running back to the past don't keep the past around specifically toxic past people and don't keep surrounding yourself with people who just aren't good for you, who just aren't nice people. You know what I mean? Because you kind of are a collection of the people around you personality wise. Like you are, what is that saying? 90% of your personality is the five people closest to you. So you want to make sure those five people are inspiring, uplifting, wise, whatever. So these are all things to keep in mind. Um, we see good stuff here with the Eight of Swords reversed as well. Just kind of getting out of your own head. I see your mental health improving a lot and I'm seeing personal success. So that's great. Thank you guys for joining me. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Comment down below how this resonated with you. I'd love to read it and like this video to help a gal out. All right. Thank you guys. Bye. Okay. Group number two. Welcome. We are going to read into your past, present, and future of this lifetime. Just get a general overview of whatever it is that you need to know right now about your life path. So I already went ahead and shuffled cards for your past and present. So let's dive right into it. Looking into your past, we have the nine of cups. Very good. This is a card of happiness and it literally says material happiness. So kind of having enough to be quite fulfilled. You know, this isn't the 10 of cups, so it's not like ultimate happiness and fulfillment, but as an individual person, just generally, finding happiness and peace and just in your own little corner of reality you know what I mean so this isn't necessarily like you have absolutely everything that you want 
but you are at peace with what you have in the past. That is something you worked really hard on. And these nine cups can kind of represent nine different areas of your life, whatever they are. Maybe it's like health, mental health, physical health, friendships, um, appearances, money, whatever, you know, just kind of building happiness in different areas of your life, one habit at a time. Next, we have the six of wands victory okay there is some type of victorious thing that happened in your past so i don't know if you like set out on a goal and you achieved it or if you did something really honorable or memorable or even just general popularity these are two cards of success though guys like just being successful as an individual does that make sense so like as a single individual person you have cultivated general independence, general happiness, and there is something that you did in life so far that was quite glorious and remarkable. The success card here is like, we're seeing here someone who is almost like they went to battle and they won and they did a really good deed for their community. Um, I don't know why I got the message that some of you guys were in the military, but that doesn't have to be the case. Just generally like doing good things for the world is what I want to say here. Being a good person has led you to be this kind of charismatic person as well, popular and having good things come to you. It's like a karmic thing. You've done good and now you're having good come to you. We have the judgment card coming out as well. Good judgment. Guys, this is a really good reading. You're past. Wow. Um, making good judgment calls, choosing right, and using, I don't know why I'm seeing this as like using logic as well as intuition in a balanced and harmonious way. Dodging a bullet is another thing that I really want to say right now. You've listened to your intuition, you dodged a bullet. Maybe you are in a situation where things could have been so much worse for you, but you somehow managed to follow your intuition and make a really good judgment call and you've really protected yourself so for example maybe you could have ended up in a relationship with someone really really awful and abusive for you but you somehow dodged that bullet or maybe like i'm, I'm seeing like a near death experience as well like maybe you were driving a car and you just missed like getting hit by a truck or something that is very specific maybe you actually literally like have gotten hit with a bullet or something and it just missed an important vital organ and you lived you know what i'm saying like i'm seeing this near miss in your past that was just truly truly blessed in some way like wow i can't believe i made it through that and this could be a general thing like maybe you grew up in an environment like a town or a family that really wasn't setting you up for success, but somehow you managed to pull through and become the successful person. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, given the circumstances you were in in the past, you're a really lucky person for being who you are now. Like you truly have been listening to your intuition, following it. And it's, I almost want to say like, can you even imagine where you would have been if you didn't make these judgment calls and listen to your intuition, like imagine that for a second, you know, you can sit here and be complaining about the present moment all you want, but like, this is heaven compared to what, where you were supposed to be essentially, like where you could have been. Does that make sense? So I, mm, yeah, good decisions in the past. We have the ace of pentacles coming out here again. I'm seeing like a blocked future path that you made like you made a decision in the past to block a certain future from unfolding does that make sense like the universe kind of handed you this opportunity but the opportunity was not for you and you could have taken it and went down this path but you said no okay so maybe some of you guys have like been proposed to for example and you were like no i'm not doing that and then sometimes periodically you just think about like where things would have been in your life if you said yes to that person or maybe you turned down a job or maybe you made a certain decision at one point and avoided something awful 
so that's kind of what I'm seeing with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. It's like you actually blocked a future path from unfolding for yourself. And because of that, you ended up somewhere much more beautiful. Maybe you were actually on a path in life to have your life play out in one particular way. And then something happened and your life path changed. So I'll give you an example. This is a personal example because I can kind of relate to this energy. I was on a path of like having a career in art and I was going to go to art school and all that. And then I had a summer where I had a near-death experience. I was in an abusive relationship and all this crazy stuff started unfolding. And because all those things unfolded, it was literally like my life's trajectory actually completely changed. And everything that I had planned for myself was completely out the door and I was having all these crazy spiritual experiences and seeing spirits and stuff and now I am a professional psychic and spiritual life coach so it's like my entire life shifted because of certain events that took place that summer and I'm seeing here ace of pentacles reversed your original path or path that you were on shifted in a positive way for you Okay, next we have the King of Swords coming out. So this is both simultaneously you and an external influence in your life. So this could have been a person from your past as well. And this is very analytical, very logical, um, intelligence person who is very mature and has, has proper boundaries. You know, they don't take other people's crap. And th whatever this influence was, whoever this was, it taught you the lesson of not taking other people's crap and I feel like that's almost why you were able to successfully dodge a bullet whatever that means you know what I mean like someone in your life said something to you that made you realize this is not my path and it could be someone so irrelevant guys so irrelevant I remember when I was in a bad bad connection and this person was planning on proposing to me and buying a house and all this stuff. It was literally like a random coworker of mine I wasn't even close with who said something along the lines of like, I would never put up with that if I was in a relationship. And I don't know why them saying that just triggered something in me. And I'm like, you're actually right. Like, why am I doing this? And then I would like think about it. I didn't take any action on it. And then like I noticed people around me would, random people around me would say things kind of delivering messages from spirit as, as like an in-person spirit guide. Like I had a bartender one time make a comment on, cause I was complaining about that same connection. And they're like, you deserve better. I had a tow truck driver say something, some random person in a McDonald's parking lot said something. And it's like my whole life's trajectory changed because of these tiny little moments where literal strangers would give me advice that was very sound and very reasonable. And I don't know why I'm seeing the same thing happening to you in your past. Like there was a moment where someone said something that completely changed your life in, but it, when they said it, it was so small, almost so every day, but you'll probably still remember it to this day, whatever it is. Um, also with the King of Swords, we're seeing relationships kind of be of significance in the past. Let's see what the other card is. The Hermit. Yeah. Learning how to be on your own from this situation. Um, also very deep spiritual awakening happened here. I'm definitely getting light worker vibes from you. Group number one, very kind of spiritually connected psychic vibes coming th through from you. You know, I'm getting these examples of spirit guides communicating to you through other people in your life also like let's not deny the major arcana cards in your past major major influences coming through the hermit card you know i feel like in your past you felt quite isolated for some reason even if you had a big horde of people around you you still kind of felt on your own and just like i don't know it i think you always had this inner sense of being on a very individual, very unusual life path, you know, hard to relate to other people when your path in life is so different from what is normal. The Hermit card also gives deep introspection. And next to the King of Swords, I almost wonder if travel is somehow involved in your past. Really interesting past, guys. Like, I am very interested in your life story. Mmm major good karma for you for sure you did some good stuff in life I, i'm also looking at this flag here this white flag with the red cross is something very healing 
So I wonder if you helped other people heal in some way through just living. I don't know if you give advice a lot or if you're in the medical field or something. Like, I'm seeing this energy of saving people's lives through your kindness has racked up a lot of good karma for you. And I feel like there was certain moments in your life. This is going to sound so dramatic. There was certain moments in your life where you were supposed to die. And you somehow managed to not because of how highly vibrating the energy that you were carrying was. It was almost like you were doing so much good by living for the earth, for people in this earth. Like you're a light worker, right? You living, uh, the pros from that, that the world would benefit, outweighed the cons. Does that make sense? So... <sighs> How do I even explain that? Like, life can be hard sometimes, you know what I mean? Especially if you're someone who's a spirit and not very used to the physical world and this reality where bad stuff can happen. Um, the pros of you continuing life and continuing being blessed just outweighed the cons of living. Does that make sense? I, I'm not going to explain myself anymore. The fact of the matter is you dodged a bullet in some way, shape, or form because of how much good energy you were carrying. So where are you at presently? We have the seven of swords reversed. What a shift. Okay. What a shift. We have the eight of wands in reverse. I'm kind of getting a feeling of stagnancy for some reason. A feeling of two of wands reversed. Yeah. Like looking out the window, like I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm getting a feeling of waiting. Ace of wands reversed. Right underneath that ace of pentacles reversed. Where is this new beginning? The Hanged Man, this is literally the card of waiting, straight up. And it's the only one upright so far. And the Nine of Cups reversed. So we have the Nine of Cups coming out twice now, this time in reverse. I don't want to say things have gotten worse for you. Because I don't see that. It's just more so, in the past, there's a lot of dramatics going on. And new turns of life. And right now, it just feels like you've been trying to stabilize life a bit more and I'm just getting this feeling of like waiting for success to come in wait waiting for a new beginning to come in waiting for either happiness money an opportunity to come in and it's a little bit frustrating feeling a little bit I, I don't know why I want to say cheated by life. Like, I work so hard. I do th all this nice stuff for everyone. Why do I feel stagnant? The two of wands reversed, especially in this deck, we see the image here of, like, wanting to travel. She has this dream of, like, living out of a van and surfing. And she has this globe here. But she's, like, kind of stuck inside looking out the window. So in reverse, it's kind of, I'm seeing this as like the negative interpretation of that, like wanting to get out, wanting to experience life more. And I feel like it's because you had this kind of like near death experience or like you, you dodged a negative life experience in some way so hardcore that it kind of awakened this sense of wanting to live life to the fullest. And right now things feel a little bit stuck for you. And I don't know why. Eight of wands reversed. This is a card of fast forward momentum. It's one of the most positive cards in the deck, but in reverse, there's like a little glitch right now. It's like you were expecting this fast forward momentum by now, and it's like taking its time getting to you. Seven of swords reverse. This is a card of deceit, to be honest. And when this is in reverse, I almost wonder... I don't know why I want to say being deceitful towards yourself or like being super critical towards yourself. This isn't making sense to me. So if it makes sense to you, please comment down below why. But I'm almost, this is giving me self-sabotaging energy and I can't pinpoint why. Self-sabotaging energy why? I think I need a clarifier for you guys, to be honest. Like, I'm really confused right now. 
Why are we getting this stagnant, self-sabotaging energy? What does that mean? Why are we getting this stagnancy? This weight. I feel like the answer to your stagnancy is seeing your current reality from a new perspective. You know, if you're like doing everything you can, for example, to make money and you know in in the way that you want like you're applying to all the jobs or like you're doing all the work you can and you're just kind of like waiting for it to come in waiting for money to come in success victory to come in um try to view your current reality in a different way like maybe you're pushing yourself so 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 hard and you're not making the most out of your current reality like you're so busy dreaming about your future home that you're not making the most out of your current home that's kind of the energy i'm getting here we have strength and reversed for that self-sabotage clarification thing you know this is a card of like kind of ignoring a problem so i am seeing a problem being ignored here it's also kind of scary to me that the lamb is there with this in reversed i'm almost wondering like what aren't you seeing? That's, I'm going to get another clarifier. What aren't you seeing that is kind of sabotaging your success? What are you ignoring or avoiding that is sabotaging your success? Three of swords. Wow. Something ending or needs to come to an end. Some type of pain that you are not dealing with. Mm. don't push your frustrations down if you're feeling frustrated let it all out let it all out and allow yourself to be in the present moment and be in this moment you know you might not have everything that you want right now group number three but you know don't make the journey to getting what you want a miserable one don't make the journey of developing an idea a miserable one just because you don't have that idea yet Whew. so seven of swords reversed and three of swords this and with the strength card in reversed in between does give me the energy of like not being honest so i don't want to say this is a relationship but I would definitely say if you have an inclination that someone is lying to you, that might be something you want to explore a bit. Why do I feel this way? Okay. Hmm. Because usually with the Seven of Swords reversed and Three of Swords, this, these are both betrayal cards. With the Strength card in reverse in between it, it's like almost lying by omission energy. You're not saying something because it's a different, difficult conversation. Or you're avoiding a problem because it's difficult to face. Or like there's something you know you need to do, but you're not doing it. Like maybe for the longest time you've been saying, you know that like you need to, I don't know, go to a dentist, for example. Maybe you've been putting it off for years and years and years. And you keep like lying to yourself like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Like I'll do it eventually, but you're not doing it. And then you self-sabotage. And by the time you actually get there, you know, you have to get like 10 root canals and all your teeth are messed up. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I would be weary of ignoring what's going on in the present moment. Look at things from a new perspective, a much more positive perspective. It kind of feels like you lost a bit of your magic. Like you lost a little bit of your optimism and the message here is, you know, instead of being so stressed out by waiting for your manifestations, for your happiness to come through, create happiness where you currently are, blossom where you're currently planted is what I want to say. Blossom where you're currently planted. And when you outgrow the space that you're in because you're blossoming way too much, that is when the universe will bring you something new in a very natural, organic way. Does that make sense? So like when you become your best, happiest version and you continuously grow and grow and grow, yes, you will outgrow certain individuals 
and your environment. And that is when these changes happen. And I feel like right now you're feeling very stagnant because you want change to happen. You want a new beginning. You want to meet new people, see more of the world, that type of energy, but you're not. And spirit is saying like, it is time for you to continue to grow where you are right now. You know, if you're dreaming about living in a new home, but you're not properly utilizing the home that you're in, you know, what if you, you like, I was actually just thinking about this before you're reading too. So I feel like that was definitely like your energy coming through. But I'm like, you know, I really want to manifest a place with a yard. And I'm like, instead of me overthinking the things that I want to manifest and like just feeling icky because I don't have that reality yet, why don't I like literally make the most of this place now and every single square inch of soil outside I am going to plant beautiful flowers on. I'm going to propagate all of my plants and I'm going to use all of my canvases and paints and paper that have just been sitting there and make beautiful art. I'm going to fill this space with so much love, so much art, so much things. I'm going to focus on that instead of focusing heavily on that which I'm trying to manifest and that I'm waiting for from the universe. Does that make sense? Because I already planted the seed of manifestation, so there's no point in continuously ruminating over it. And I feel like I want to say a similar message to you. So with all of that being said, what is your future path right now? What is your future path right now? What lies ahead in the future for you? Six cards. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay. Seven cards. I lied. You have the Knight of Wands in reverse. This is kind of giving me this energy of feeling restless, and making spontaneous decisions because of it. What I want to say is like, if you're, you're in the stag, the stagnancy, right? Like you're feeling restless. And because of that, it can actually cause you to make some very spontaneous decisions that might not be the best for you. So for example, if you're feeling restless, you're feeling this wanderlust, don't charge your credit card to go on a trip. You know, like don't put yourself in debt to go traveling or to start this new beginning. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're feeling lonely, wanting to meet new people, don't just go sleeping with anyone, you know, have some standards, <laughs> you know, like, Mm, I don't know. That's the message I get with the Knight of Wands reversed. Also, it's kind of worrisome to me. I wonder if you are, um, what's the word? Dealing with a douchebag. <laughs> Some of you, not all of you. I honestly don't get this from most of you even. But with all these cards, like the Knight of Swords reversed, Strength reversed, and then this Three of Swords underneath this card and the Knight of Wands kind of coming out right on top of that. I almost wonder if you're dealing with a douchebag because th that's all douchebag energy, you know? Kind of not interested in the honeymoon, in going beyond the honeymoon phase, not interested in anything long-term, kind of saying what you want to hear, but avoiding telling their truth, which is just like, I'm just here for something a little bit more casual. You know what I mean? So if you're dealing with someone like that, I don't think it's going to lead to long-term happiness, but moving forward, we have the two of wands upright. Finally, finally being able to realistically plan an exciting future, not only just with yourself, but with someone else as well, with other people, two of wands up right now. So this stagnancy is coming to a close guys for sure. Hands down. Love to see it. We have the three of cups in reverse. Mm. I'm seeing that your social dynamics will change for sure. Because again, like grow where you're planted, you will outgrow certain environments and people. And we do see that with the three of cups in reverse. Okay, so don't be shocked. Don't be upset by it, honestly. It's cool. That's what happens in life, you know? <laughs> like I'm visualize yourself as a flower. And right now you're growing on within the cracks of a sidewalk you really don't like it but you're gonna do your gosh darned best to be the most beautiful wonderful flower and then one day you're really at like the max of how far you can grow in this environment and someone comes along and they're like wow what a beautiful flower and they like transplant you you know they pick you up by the roots and they put you into a beautiful pot beautiful clay pot and you're like yes this is awesome this is wonderful and you have all this energy of success and happiness that you ha you've experienced in the past 
And then you grow and grow and grow and grow and grow until you can't grow anymore because you're in a pot and you're like, oh my gosh, this is all I can do. And then you're like, meh, but whatever, you're making the most out of it. And then someone else comes along and they're like, wow, what a big, beautiful plant. Like this would look so good in the ground. And then they put you in the ground. You know what I mean? Like in a, in a good way. And then, <laughs> and then you grow even more. You get what I'm saying? It's like, if you're feeling stuck right now, try to make the absolute most of where you are at. Utilize all your resources here, make the most of it, and then the universe will give you new environments, new people, etc. Okay. Next, we have the Knight of Pentacles, growth steady growth. I'm seeing your emotions becoming more stable, to be honest. Also, I love to see this with the Ace of Pentacles being your past. We see more money coming in and just more stability in general. I'm seeing more stability in your relationships as well. Like, I feel like you're stabilizing your emotions, thus stabilizing your relationships. Like, maybe you kind of attracted hot and cold douchebags in the past, but like, you're becoming more emotionally stable yourself. Um, learning how to control your impulses more, you know, not put yourself in debt every time you want to change up your life or, you know, not putting yourself at risk every time you want some of that love hormone, you know what I'm saying? And because of that, you are attracting more stable people who have something stable to offer you, like a stable commitment. So beautiful stuff. We have the Five of Swords coming out, guys. Two cards here of walking away from people, interestingly, coming out in your future. Um, I don't want to talk too much about the walking away from people, people leaving your life, because honestly, like, your spirit guides are just kind of coming through saying, like, don't worry about this now because it's not going to make any sense to you if we explained it right now, but it will make sense to you in the future. And it's honestly nothing to worry about. That's what I'm seeing. It's nothing to worry about. Um, it'll happen very naturally and it will feel right in the present moment, um, once you're there, but just know that your kind of social environment changes as you change as well. Then we have the nine of cups again, three times now, past, present, and future nine of cups, happiness. So it's interesting. We have happiness in your past in the present moment. You kind of lost touch with it a little bit, but it's coming back in the future and we're, oh, and the 10 of pentacles as well. Guys, this is a happy ending. This is personal happiness as well as like, just being rich. <laughs> okay. Let, like, let's be for real here. Having a nice, beautiful, happy home and honestly like a sense of family okay this is a sense of people who you really resonate with around you you know friends who feel like family partners who feel like family family who feels like family that is the energy just feeling very loved and in a beautiful place that you've you've built yourself with all that you've got i'm definitely seeing an increase in money for you it keeps coming up and it's just so interesting. It almost seems like a drastic increase as well. So I don't know if it's like suddenly you get a job that pays like three times the amount you're making now, or if you have a business, it suddenly blows up. But that's kind of what I'm seeing. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's just like an upward momentum. It feels like many different things happening all at once like right it's so interesting because right now you feel so stagnant and then all of this happens so suddenly it's just like you know what i'm gonna stop worrying and pushing so hard from the universe and i'm just going to make the most out of where i'm at right now and the thing is the universe already heard your requests for whatever it is you're trying to manifest the universe already heard your request for a better environment better people better pay whatever so when you're like okay you heard me it's manifesting cool i'm gonna make the most of my situation now it's almost like then it starts to come through one after the other and one event leads to the next manifestation like it's really cool. I love it. <laughs> I really do. Like we, I'm seeing traveling. I'm seeing a change in, in the social sphere, which honestly changes your whole life because the people around you contribute so much to who you are as a person. So when you have new people coming in, that triggers new ideas, new energies. And then when you have old people exiting, it kind of, again, triggers this sense of independence again, or this sense of like, I have more room for new activities now, new people. So it's just one change after the other, it feels like, in, in your near future and beyond. 
but we see a happy ending here with you being personally fulfilled happy content with what you have no longer feeling any sense of lack or blocks like that's the big thing i feel like you currently have a sense of block like where is my manifestation where <laughs> when is this happening why has life slowed down so much but we see it moving forward again also i just noticed two knights one in reversed um with the three of wands in reversed in between them i definitely am viewing this as a friendship breakup um and again i don't know if it's related to this energy right here that you're kind of ignoring like someone who you don't necessarily trust or can't trust i don't know but it'll make sense guys don't worry about it just focus on you blossom where you're at right now do what you can right now to live life to the fullest even if you're not 100 where you want to be make the most of where you are at and watch how quickly that will get you to where you want to be it's it's that's what i'm seeing that's how this is going to unfold so thank you guys for joining me like share comment and subscribe i would love to hear how this resonated with you down below so let me know and if you like this content i do pick a card readings just about every tuesday and friday with other little spiritual chats in between and i do offer personal psychic readings on my website spiritpsychic.org thank you guys for joining me bye bye